Hey folks, uh, folks, uh, Michael here, uh, doing just a series of short videos about things that I've found in recent digs. Um, and I wanted to cover this one uh, real quick. Uh, 75 cents each, excellent condition, good music. Um, not mind blowing, not um, something that's completely. Uh, even what I would say highly original it reminds me a lot of actually of Harry Chapin uh, although I wouldn't say he sounds like Harry Chapin it just reminds me of that um, both of these albums came out in 1970 um, this is actually contribution this is actually his second album he had put out an album oh three or four years before that called Sean Phillips that was just kind of a folk album. This kind of ranges into some other styles that get brought in and, and whatnot. And, um, uh, it, you know, it's, it's a pretty good record. It, it's a pretty good record. Um, I, I don't have any real argument with it. Um, um, yeah. You know, I, I, the titles still kind of get to me, and, and reading the back of this album, it does seem that he maybe takes himself a little more seriously than, than um, you know. Uh, somebody once said um, that an artist should take his art very seriously, but not himself. And I kind of go along with that. I sort of agree with that. And I'm not really sure um, at this point, as a young man, what uh, Sean... Phillips was taking most seriously. But it is nevertheless a, a highly listenable album, one that I'll put on again. Um, but nothing that really demands that I really listen with a t great attention. Um, this album, uh, which I found a week before I found this one, um, at the same place, uh, I, I grabbed immediately. I have never since this album came out, never have I forgotten this image. It is one of the strongest images that has ever been committed to the front of a, of a record cover. Uh, it's just unbelievably powerful. Uh, it's an it's a art in itself. And you know, even if I had thought this album was crap, this is so good. The cover is so good. It, I might frame it and just, you know, uh, call it great album for a crap cover, for a great cover for a crap album. It's not a crap album though. It's 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 very good. Both of them are, and I'd say they're equally good. This one maybe a little stronger, um, but not necessarily shockingly stronger. And that's odd. I just oh that's right. I know why. I just I looked in here and the record isn't in there. Well, that's because this one is in one of these sleeves, and and I take my vinyl out and put it behind the album cover when I do that, mainly to kind of hopefully keep from doing more damage to the album covers, which are seem to be oh, so vulnerable to the stresses of, of vinyl uh, being within them. Good records, um, good enough that if I find any more of his albums in this kind of condition or better, and they're five or dollars or less, I would probably buy them if I had cash on me, um, and I sure as hell would buy them for seventy-five cents. Um, so that's it. Um, I enjoyed them. I like them. I'm keeping them, and I'm gonna play them again. I'm sure. Uh, you know. Uh, happy things to put into my collection. That's it. Uh, enjoy the music. That's what it's all about. Have a great day.